Good morning, Ms. Sasikala Veradachari, Manager of the State Bank of India, SBI, and Mr. Ravinda Misra, Vice President of Credit. It is a pleasure to interview you today. It has been nearly a year since the State Bank of India opened at the Israeli Diamond Exchange. How would you describe your activities in Israel during the past year? The last year has been a good learning process for us. We have uh, established ourselves and this is a new culture. You know, we came from India with a different kind of experience in diamonds, of course. But uh, here we found the processes and uh, uh, the procedures and the expectations and the way people do business and business culture, everything was, is still different. So we had to adapt ourselves totally. And uh, to a large extent, we have succeeded. So uh, we have done pretty well. We started, of course, with Indian uh, diamond people. Now we have moved on to Israeli diamond tiers. So nine, about 90% of our total exposure in the bank today is uh, for diamond industry. Now we are ready to take on more and expand our activities. What are your plans for the coming year? How will you be expanding your activities into additional areas? We hope to uh, maybe double or treble our exposure to diamond industry in the next uh, year. And uh, of course, non-diamond is also flourishing between India and Israel. So we would be obviously looking into uh, add adding more and more customers into our books, and which, uh, for which the potential is very, very good. So there's a huge interest also. What do you have to offer the Israeli diamond here specifically? Obviously, uh, as far as Indo-Israeli uh, Indo diamond trade is concerned, we would expect uh, to service the entire uh, um, uh, the trade uh, between the Israelis and the uh, Indian uh, diamond people. Uh, but other than that, we have a huge global network in diamond-related uh, uh, countries. You know, the worldwide network which we have got in South Africa, Hong Kong and Antwerp and um, Toronto, Moscow, China. So we would be also uh, t uh, facilitating trade between these countries, trade or manufacturing uh, or purchase from uh, Moscow we would, or any, any uh, requirement of diamond tiers uh, with, with these countries as well. In fact, it was our aim to add Tel Aviv as into our chain of the diamond. We have uh, our branches almost in all the centers where the diamonds are traded. This or was the only min missing link. We would be uh, taking into account more uh, Israeli diamond tiers who work with India and who would like to work with India. And we know the buyers and the manufacturers very well. So we hope um, they make the best of our uh, presence uh, here. The American economy is on the brink of a recession. Do you think this will affect the Israeli and Indian diamond industries? The whole world economy, all the countries are affected. And I'm confident that the Israeli diamond industries uh, will tide over it. There are many markets which are now emerging, like Southeast Asian market is emerging, South American market is emerging, even Indian consumer market is emerging. So despite there being a recession in America, I think these emerging markets will help diamond industry in the long run. The Israeli diamond industry has declared 2008 the year of India. How can the State Bank of India contribute to this strategic target? We are quite honored that uh, this year has been chosen as year of India. Indian uh, economy is still booming and uh, like uh, Mishra said that uh, you know the, uh, uh, the market there for the jewelry and for the diamond jewelry specifically is, is growing. There's no doubt about it and State Bank of India would be always there to facilitate this trade. Is there anything you would like to add? The whole world is uh, now uh, undergoing a transition as far as the diamond industry is concerned. New um, countries are emerging. There are requirements of Basel II and uh, there are various other requirements, regulatory requirements are coming. So I hope the industry absorbs that and I'm sure the industry will adapt to it and live up to it. And we are happy that the management of diamond industry here is taking initiatives, yeah. a proactive initiative to create an awareness about the Basel II requirements among the diamond tiers and we will be happy to be a part of that uh, initiative. I hope the industry has a very, very prosperous uh, year under the circumstances. <laughs>